here in this festival, you're looking at, you know, people from all different walks of life and sharing the talent. It's a chance to really get to know an artist. You can find out for yourself too, like what the real story is. I look at my artwork as a, a bridge for all the people that come to visit our part of the world. The carving itself is a meditation. It's a mind quieting process where you're tuning into that different frequency of communication. What I love about this whole experience is the storytelling and learning the story of the people. I think there's a great intermingling of different cultures here. There's a kind of majesty and grandeur here that informs the energy that people feel here. It's not coming from nowhere. It's coming from the ancestors of this land. It's coming from the beauty of this place. It's the energy. It's the reason I come here. Just to load up again, charge your batteries. I'm happiest when I'm working with wood and making paddles. And I think that for generations, if that's what your ancestors have done, that that becomes a part of you. And now you're in tune with that again. When I was younger, I picked up a knife and, and I started to be able to do stuff like this, you know, and um, like that pride and to be proud of who I am as a, as a First Nations person. This is the goal of the arts here, this scene. This is about growing a respectful, collaborative culture together so that we all rise. A cynic might think that art is kind of a superficial thing. The art is, the, is a gateway to understanding. It's a gateway to relationship. It's a gateway to a deeper sense of purpose and meaning.